guys. Welcome to Back to School for 2021. Um, we are in our third week in January, and our learning target for today is describing the law of conservation of energy. Now, we've already talked about the law of conservation of mass, and I'm sure you've seen the law of conservation of energy in elementary school. This is just kind of a, a refresher course. Now, when we talk about the law of conservation of energy, this law is just like the law of conservation of mass, where it states that energy, in this case, cannot be created nor destroyed. It simply changes its form. So when you're talking about that, that change in form is a transfer or a transformation. And the energy is, cons is conserved throughout that system. So in your example here, your, your system is this pool balls bumping into each other. Now, when we look at the system, the system would, inc would include the cue, the cue ball, the eight ball, the, t the pool table, the air around the pool table. Now, that means that the energy in the system can move from one object to the next, but it doesn't completely disappear, okay? It's going to be there somewhere. It just is going to move from place to place, and it's going to change its form. So I have in front of me the basic setup, and I want to walk us through the basic setup. So the white is my felt on my pool table, okay? And I'm going to use my expo marker as my pool cue. When my pool cue comes in to hit my cue ball, that is mechanical energy. When the ball strikes the cue ball, the energy from the cue, which came from me, goes into the cue ball. The cue ball rolls forward, hitting the 12 ball. So the energy is transferring from the pool cue to the cue ball to the ball 12. Now, what I want you to think about here is where else is energy going? Eventually, this ball's going to stop. So if energy is not created or destroyed, how can the ball stop? Well, what happens is the energy transfers into other portions of the system. So when I hit the ball and the cue ball rolls forward, it hits the 12. Did you hear that sound? That sound is some of that energy transforming out. Also, when the ball hits one to the other, there's a little bit of heat that's transferred here too. That's more of that energy. As it rolls from across the felt on the pool table, that's friction. So more of the energy goes into the felt on the table as thermal energy. And all of these places together are absorbing some of that energy and that explains why it eventually stops rolling. Okay? So let's see if we can kind of look at this a little bit more and kind of see what I just talked about. Some of the energy goes into the sound that you hear from one hitting the next. Some of it is transferred into thermal energy, into the table, into the air around it, and in from one pool ball to the next. But eventually, it comes down to this, guys. I took mechanical energy, and I changed that mechanical energy into more mechanical energy, sound energy, and thermal energy. 